wow, just wow. The last few days around here have been massive, have been hugely crazy. So much stuff going on. I don't know if I'll even be able to cram it all into this video, but I'll certainly try to. Big changes, huge announcement, more on that later. And obviously updates on the fleet of cars that are sitting outside and where, where we are with this, the actual garage stroke workshop of the channel. First of all, though, I want to start with another thank you. This time, it's a massive thank you, and it's going out to all you folks. All you folks that have been watching the channel, subscribing to the channel, commenting on the videos, liking the videos, sharing the videos. I don't know what to say. I'm absolutely blown away. And in the last 28 days, I've now had over 200 subscribers join the channel, which is absolutely fantastic. It's so brilliant. It's amazing. I'm, I'm really, really, truly thankful that you've all decided to subscribe you're carrying on viewing, you're commenting, you're liking, and you're sharing, etc. And on the back of that, by the looks of it, according to my analytics, all of you are watching, you really, really enjoyed or needed to know or wanted to watch the couple of videos I've done with regards to the DVLA survey call for evidence and the update I've done on that one with regards to tax exemption, MOT exemption for classic cars or historical vehicles that are registered as being over 40 years old. So on the back of that, because you enjoyed those videos so much, what I'm going to do is add a new section to the channel. Now, if you go to the channel homepage on YouTube, you'll see that I've got sections on the garage, the charger, the Cortina, the Ranchero, and some random videos in there as well, as well as that, obviously, there's shorts in there as well. What I'm going to do is add another section to that, a new section, especially for all you lot that really enjoy watching stuff like that. And I'm going to call that new section Talk Specs because it'll have detailed information on all the news, the latest developments, and the latest legislation that, as motorists, we all need to know. And that'll be a new regular section on all the stuff that I hear about, anything I'm emailed about. If you do know anything that I haven't covered or you'd like me to cover, email it to us on double zero garage at gmail.com and I'll see what I can find out about it and I'll do a video on it to add into the new Talk Specs section. So I'm really hoping that section is going to take off and be as successful as the rest of the news reports I've done so far have been. Now, if you've been following along with any of the recent updates, you'll know exactly where we are with the garage that we're currently standing in. The roof's on now. It's all done. Neat ceiling. I haven't done that yet because it's horrendously windy outside at the minute, and I don't really want to be up a ladder when it's, uh, when it's as windy as it is. And as you can probably see in the background there behind me, there's still a lot of rubbish and junk in here that needs sorting out, disposing of, putting in proper storage, and getting it in the shed behind the garage so I can make enough space in here to start getting the cars in so we can do work on the cars when the weather's a bit bad outside so update on the garage the roof's on it's all done it's watertight in here or it appears to be fairly watertight in here at the minute it's uh, it, it's windproof it's pretty much blowing a gale outside but obviously as you can hear there's no wind noise in the background in the garage i do need to get some lights in here because it's a little bit dark in here at the minute having blown the fuse on the uh, on the fuse box there for the light switches a few days ago but everything else in the garage is going nicely and we're just going to continue on and get all this put together so it's actually going to be a workable, usable garage. Now, of course, my most recent acquisition on the channel is this, my 1995 Ford Mondeo 2-litre gear. Now, when I got this car, it came with an Eval a valid MOT. I think it was about seven or eight months MOT I've done it when I first got it. It also drove, drove it home. It did have a few issues. We've worked through those on the channel. There's loads of videos on here. It has its own section. So if you haven't seen those yet, I'll leave links in the description below to the Ford Mondeo section. And you can see exactly what I've gone through on that one. Currently, it has an MOT, passed its MOT um, a few weeks or a couple of months back. So it's currently got full MOT on it. It's fully roadworthy. And at present, it's running. It's absolutely fine. No problems with it at the moment. Needs a good clean. We'll get into that later. Haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with it yet, whether I'm going to keep it or I'm going to trade it on and, uh, and maybe pick something else up. After all, this is a YouTube channel. And although the majority of the cars on the channel are staying and aren't going anywhere, there's always going to be the odd one or two that arrive, hang around for a while and then go, or maybe hang around a lot longer, depending on how much work they need doing or how much I enjoy driving them. The next car to join the channel was this, my 1975 Mark III Ford Cortina. Now, it's an import from South Africa, and as such, it has an SX V6 in it, but it's a 2.5 litre, and it's got an automatic gearbox. Now, the Cortina at the moment, mainly, has some minor bodywork issues, and it's got a fueling problem, which I think might involve cleaning, rebuilding, or adjusting the carburetor, or maybe all three. But we'll get into that in a later video. Now, before I bought the Cortina, I imported this, my absolutely gorgeous 1975 Ford Ranchero. 
This came in from the Netherlands. It was at a Mopar dealer. Now, one of my friends who knew I was looking for one of these for a specific reason uh, sent me the link to it when it was advertised over in the Netherlands. This one turned up here in um, 2020. Long before that, though, I acquired this, my 1994 Toyota Hilux Surf, 2.4 litre diesel. And uh, as you can see, it's currently hibernating in the yard of dreams. Now this one has appeared briefly on the channel. I am going to pull it out, we are going to do some work on it, and I am going to put it back on the road. Long before that though, there was this, my iconic 60s American muscle car, genuine American muscle car. My 1968 Dodge Charger, 383 engine, column shift automatic. Absolutely amazing vehicle, the one I always wanted, the one that I've ignored for quite some time now, and the one that is about to be put back on the road very, very shortly. Now my charger has one or two starting issues, which I believe I know what the problem is. I know how to solve that. It's also got some bodywork issues as well, but we'll go into those. I do have some panels for it. Other stuff can be made up to fit it. And finally for now, there's this, a 1996 Ford Mustang 3.8 V6. Hashtag not my Mustang because it's not mine, belongs to a good friend of mine. It's been stored here in the minute and looks like it's rapidly becoming yard art because it's suffering from a suspected head gasket issue haven't had the funds or the ability or the time or the positioning to put it in to have a look under the bonnet, have a good dig around. But at the minute, it does have a suspected head gasket. So that's probably going to be coming up on the channel in the future as well. As you join me here in the Mark III Cortina, one of the coolest cars Ford ever built back when Ford was Ford and it was worth buying things from them. It's time for the huge announcement. YouTube sent me an email the other day, a very exciting email, an absolutely outstanding email. And they invited me to join the YouTube Partner Programme. It's absolutely fantastic. It's amazing news. I was over the moon when I got the email. So I filled in all the details. Now, once you filled all your details in, you submit that to YouTube. They select a human over in their area. And they review all the information on your channel to make sure you haven't gone against the guidelines. You've got no community strikes. You're not doing something you shouldn't be doing. You're not condoning stuff you shouldn't be condoning. And that your channel is nice and safe for the section that you've got your channel registered as. Once they've completed the reviews and they've checked everything and made sure all the details are correct, they then send you an email that says, congratulations, you're now a YouTube partner. It's absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant news. Now, if there's anybody left out there watching this that doesn't know what the YouTube Partner Programme is, it's a way of us as creators being able to, um, to be paid for the content that we'll put or we'll upload on the, uh, on the YouTube platform. It's absolutely brilliant and it gives you a whole host of benefits as well, which is where some of the big changes are coming in onto the channel. Absolutely fantastic news that I can do all this for you though. So without further ado, let's get into that. I've switched on the ability for you all to join the channel as members if you so desire. By the time you watch this video, they'll already be activated. But first of all, before I get into the details of the membership program as regards my channel, I want to take a couple of minutes just to completely reassure you and absolutely cast a and guarantee that the way you view all my videos is not going to change. All the videos you see on my channel will still be on my channel. It's not going to be a case of if you want to see part two of this, you'll need to sign up as a member and you'll be able to view it over there. I'm not doing anything like that. That's why I'm leaving things the way they are with regards to the normal videos that you see on the channel. But if you want to, and if you can, the opportunity is there if you'd like to go ahead and become a member. So with regards to memberships, what do you get on my channel for becoming a member? So I've set up three different levels of membership on the channel. Now, as a Ford Cortina level member, what you'll get is a loyalty badge that will appear next to your name every time you comment on a video or any live chats that I do. There's also a small selection of custom emojis in there that you can use in your comments if you want to. And finally, what you'll get as a Ford Cortina level member is your name will appear on all my long form videos, whether it's at the beginning, in the middle, at the end, or scrolling along at the bottom of the screen, your name and every member's name will appear on all long form videos that I make on the channel. And Ford Cortina level comes in at just 99 pence per month in the UK. If you're watching from another part of the world, also YouTube will adjust that amount for whichever country you're currently living in and watching, and watching the videos from. Now for just a little bit more, you can become a Ford Ranchero level, which is level two. Now, as a Ford Ranchero member, you'll get all of the benefits listed in Ford Cortina level, plus you'll get full access 
to member only videos now those member only videos will be videos that you'll never see on the public side of my channel for a little bit more again on the next level level three or the dodge charger level and this is the one where i think it's going to be the most exciting one to have now for this one what i'm going to do is something that as yet I haven't seen any other channels do now obviously there's millions of channels out there and i don't watch every single channel that's out there but from the channels that i do watch and i have seen when i've checked their information out none of them seem to do this so i'm going to do things slightly differently to the way other channels do it i'm not just trying to grow my channel and get it as big as i can get it to be i'm also trying to grow a community or develop a community a community full of people like yourself people who like watching the videos who like seeing what i do and who want to get involved in what i do as well and hopefully learn something at some point uh, there's some stuff i don't know how to do i'll need to learn how to do that you can learn along with me as i'm doing that there's some stuff that i do know how to do but you may not know how to do and hopefully you'll be able to watch the videos that include stuff like that and you'll pick up on that and you'll learn how to do stuff yourself but outside of that though what i'd really like to do is to encourage you to do more and also i want to give you the chance to let the entire world see your project what you're working on what you've built how it looked when you bought when you first bought it how it looks now what you're stuck with what you're having trouble with i want to promote you promote your project and promote your channel if you have a channel on the back of my channel which leads us nicely in how the third level of membership works or dodge charger level what you'll get on there is all the benefits of the ford cortina level plus all the benefits of the ford ranchero level but the one amazing at least i think it is the most exciting benefit you'll get as a Dodge Charger level member is obviously use my email address double uh, zero garage at gmail.com send me a few photographs of your current project and a little bit of a brief write-up on email to my email address and I'll take those and I'll format them into a video and I'll let the entire world see your project see how we're getting on with it and if you have a YouTube channel as well give me the address the name of your YouTube channel and I'll promote your YouTube channel within the video on my public channel so the entire world can see it let's do a bit of a bit of networking let's build a real community of real car enthusiasts personally i think that is a much more exciting idea than just being able to watch the same old videos a couple of days early with no adverts in them but as always comment below let me know what you think if it's something you're interested in doing as i said there's the three levels there all you've got to do is click on the join button so if you if you like any of them see if any of them can tempt you if they do feel free to join now the memberships themselves are an ongoing item on a monthly basis if you sign up and you're a member for a month or two months and you decide you don't like it or you no longer want to do it or you just simply can't afford to do it anymore not a problem at all just cancel your subscription and that's all done and dusted and you don't have to worry about any comeback at all on that one if you don't want to become a member don't feel you have to if you're happy to just watch the videos as they come out I'm perfectly fine with that if you're happy to watch the videos and like the ones that you like again I'm perfectly happy with that if you've just found the channel and you watch a couple of videos and you decide to subscribe to the channel that's even better and I'd love to see your comments on all the videos but don't feel as though you have to join if you don't want to join it's there as an additional benefit hopefully something there will interest you and you'll uh, you'll decide to become a member but if you don't nothing's going to change you're still going to see all the videos that you have been watching for how many years is it now I think it's three years and seven months now I've had the channel for so it's taken me three years and seven months to be invited and accepted as a YouTube partner and I'm absolutely over the moon I couldn't be happier and the whole of the whole of it everything is down to you so thank you very much each and every one of you for watching for liking for commenting for subscribing for sharing but most of all for supporting the channel's growth and supporting me in what I do and I look forward to seeing a lot of you in the next video that comes out. And hopefully some of you at some of the shows and events that are still going on in the season. It's only the middle of August or getting towards the end of August. So hopefully I might bump into one or two of you at some of the events that I'm doing, both local and nationwide. But for now, though, after that, I really need to have a coffee. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.